The building you see behind me was once Kingston Healthcare Center before Cal OSHA shut it down in 2022 due to COVID-19 related violations. Now the state has awarded JSI acquisitions the second largest grant across the state to help restore the facility. If the state really concentrates and remembers what happened three years ago, I think they could do a good job. Michael Driscoll remembers when his wife lived at Kingston, saying she got COVID for 14 days, eventually recovering, but he says 20 people died of coronavirus while living at Kingston, and he blames the state of California for failing to respond to the residents' complaints in a timely manner, even before the pandemic. In a way, I believe they're complicit in the deaths of those 20 residents. Um, I know that sounds pretty strong, but it's just outrageous okay, that they didn't have uh, more oversight. Last year, Kingston closed after a month long investigation in 2020. According to state documents, management failed to inform employees of COVID-19 cases or suspected cases, failed to provide N95 masks to certified nursing assistants working with COVID-19 patients, and neglected to establish procedures for employees delivering food to rooms with COVID-19 patients. On the other side of the pandemic now, the $17.1 million grant pulls from the Community Care Expansion Program, established in response to Assembly Bill 172, which the California Department of Social Services says in a partial statement will expand the state's housing and care continuum, improve treatment outcomes, and prevent the cycle of homelessness or unnecessary institutionalization. The statement continues to say the CCE program provides funding for acquisition, construction, and rehabilitation projects to preserve and expand adult and senior care facilities that serve supplemental security income, state supplementary payment, and cash assistance program for immigrants applicants and recipients, including those who are experiencing or at risk of homelessness. This grant will add 137 beds upon reopening and to ensure the facility stays open without violations. CDSS says these facilities are private businesses, which must be licensed by the department's Community Care Licensing Division to ensure compliance with state licensing standards. At this time, we don't know what the facility will be called and the timeline for when it will be open. Despite the challenges he dealt with at Kingston, Driscoll hopes the state will remember what happened to ensure better care at the facility upon reopening. And these are angels that work in these places. We know that, okay. And it uh, had to be tough. But, you know, they're just people and they need oversight. They need help. And they get overworked. Uh, they get understaffed. For more information on the grants distributed across the state, visit us online at turn to 23com In Bakersfield, I'm Dominique Lavanier, 23ABC News, connecting you. As mentioned, the Community Care Expansion awarded the grant to Kingston Healthcare Center. We now take an in-depth look at some of the CCE awards throughout the state. According to the CCE data dashboard, there have been 50 grants awarded throughout the state this year. There has been over $360 million awarded for funding to a total of 19 counties. There are more than 2,000 proposed beds or units for projects in the state. Three counties in the San Joaquin Valley were recipients of these awards. Kern, Fresno, and Tulare counties received nearly $32 million in total.